Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and today we're gonna install this Vo Switch relay box underneath the hood of the Land Cruiser and wire up our set of LED driving lights. If you enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm ready to start working to install my relay box. I've seen one other person install an S-Pod right here on a bracket that's gonna sit right above this little electrical fitting and mount up against this side wall on the quarter panel here. Currently, I have my solar controller mounted there. So what I'm gonna do is use this existing mount and I'm gonna mount the brackets that came with the relay box onto this. And then I'm gonna mount my solar controller. I'm gonna flip this up and mount it directly on top of my relay switch box. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this solar controller off of the bracket, get my relay box in here, measure where I wanna mount the brackets onto this, then do some test fitting and get everything fitted. Here we go. I made sure to make very careful measurements to ensure that the box was positioned perfectly, and I spent extra time making sure the height was correct so the box wouldn't make contact with the electrical connections below. I trimmed up the two brackets that came with the Vose switch, cut the tops of them off so this is going to be sitting right at about the level where I wanted it to in the Land Cruiser. I think everything's going to fit pretty good. I had to get these just right so that these will line up on the bottom here. I'm going to take these brackets, put a little spray paint on them since I compromised the powder coat. It'll be sitting on there like that. And then this guy will be sitting on here like this. I wanted to mount the solar controller this way since the wires are coming in this way, but it would actually hit this metal lip right here. Ran out to my hardware store and got some 12 millimeter bolts so they would just clear the nuts and I wouldn't have to cut these because these were gonna actually end up hitting the side wall in the Land Cruiser. This stack of washers here is designed to have this offset so these nuts back here don't hit the truck, the panel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just see if how this is gonna fit in there. So right now I'm just trying to test fit this to make sure that it's gonna fit. I have to get them started without dropping a bunch of washers in the side of the truck. I think once I get going I can get the wrench in there. But I wanna mount it all the way up and set the solar controller on top. Just make sure there's hook clearance underneath the hood before I drill holes in this box. The bracket seems strong enough. It's definitely gonna, feels like it might wiggle around a little bit with bumps and stuff. Hmm. I don't really like that that much. It's not flimsy. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but I think just vibration, bouncing off road and things like that. I'm just not comfortable with how wiggly this is. well under the hood line so that should be fine i'm going to take some aluminum l bracket that i have and reinforce these two steel brackets that came with the box and see if that doesn't firm things up a little bit it's definitely helped with the shakiness i think that's about as good as it's going to get without completely fabricating a new bracket and i think it's good enough so we're going to go with that now we just need to get the holes drilled for the solar controller and get it mounted to the relay box. Everything seems really sturdy and it came out great. I've got my bracket done. I've got the solar all mounted up and yes, it mounted her. I trimmed the bracket a little bit so it's easier to get the wrenches in and install everything and also painted it to match. Now I just need to hook up the wires coming from the switch panel and the eight gauge leads going to the battery. Make sure you don't switch those. The connectors that come with this kit were not big enough to go on the battery terminal. So I've actually have so much stuff coming in here. I've ordered a terminal that should be able to go on here. It has a little bus bar and I should be able to hook additional items to it with a smaller diameter uh, connector. And for some of these smaller gauge wires, it's just going to be easier to get them on there. For now, until those connectors get here, I have drilled this out a little bit and I'm going to mount it directly on here. On the hot side, I wasn't actually too impressed with this fuse holder. A couple of the tabs snapped on me while I was just trying to get in there and look at the inside. So I ordered a circuit breaker that I'm going to mount to my case here, but I'm going to wait until I do my project with the dual battery charger because I'm going to mount the dual battery charger right in here. And then I think I'm going to mount that breaker right here or even over here. I'm just going to go ahead and just have this sort of 
hanging in there. Not ideal, but okay for the moment. Now I'm gonna get these LED driving lights mounted up on the bumper right here. Each light has these two hex bolts on each side. One is to provide the adjustment for the angle of the light and the other is the pivot point. And then we have this big bolt and nut that will go through the mount on the ARV bumper. The next thing I need to do is run my wires for my lights. I think 10 gauge is probably overkill, but I have a couple nice big spools of 10 gauge wire and more is better in some cases if you have the room to run it and it's not gonna cause you some other issue. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run these four wires that are gonna go to my two front driving lights through some sheathing, which is right here. And I've got my 100 feet of half inch braided cable sleeve. Cable sleeve, I guess is what it's officially called. And this stuff is a real pain in the eye. Big thing you wanna do is keep these wires all straight while you're going through the sheathing and work from one end to the other. So for right now, I'm just gonna electrical tape the end of this until I get the wire all ran and I'll shrink wrap it once I have the exact length. My plan is to run the wire right along inside the bumper here and up over this side out where the fog lights are. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack just in case I need to move it around once I install a winch. And I'm gonna go up through this little hole that's right by the battery. And that's coming right out on the front side of the battery. And I'm gonna route that around the battery and around the fuse box and then it's gonna come into my relay box right here. Now we're gonna put a little shrink wrap around our sheathing to keep it from fraying. Crimp the Deutsch connectors onto our wiring for the lights. Have a little beer, shrink wrap everything else and get things wired up in the relay box. I had mentioned in my unboxing video that there were two hookups per relay. There's only one. The 10 gauge wire proved to be a little too large and was a real pain to get hooked up. I think everything else from here on out will be 12 gauge or smaller. Whew. All right guys, I'm finally done. I have the relay box in. I've got the lights installed. I've got all the wiring done. Everything zip tied up except for this last little fitting over here. And all I need to do is plug in these lights and try them out. So I'm going to plug them both in. And I'll zip tie up this wiring after the test here. Well, it looks like they work. I'm totally pumped I was able to get this system in. I had a couple little bumps in the road along the way. In the next few weeks, I'll be assessing everything and I'll drop another video and let you guys know exactly how everything's working. But so far, it's looking pretty good and I'm pretty excited to have some new driving lights on the front of the cruiser. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and have a great one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.